Welcome to this tutorial, I'm Nicholas from Makebricks and today I will show you how to export a model from Makebricks, how to render it in Blender and how to upload your cool result in the Makebricks library. So all the resources needed for this tutorial are available in the forum section. In here. So basically what you need is Blender, the current version is the 2.74. You also need the template that I created for Blender here, and you also need some HDR images. You can find some pretty cool ones if you follow this link here. So the first thing that we are going to do is to actually choose a model. I will pick this one for today. It's a cool little one. So to export a model, I need to be in the editor slash workshop. Okay, so it's loaded now. I will go in the file menu, then choose export. Here I've got three options, STL, WebFront and Colada. I will choose the first one, Colada, here. It's a lot easier to handle in Blender and it can also create some smaller files. So I will pick group by geometry, it works pretty well with Blender. If you try with Moto, the second option is working better. Okay, I will also tick the uh, Lego logo options, it will add a bit of realism on my image. It will basically add the word Lego on the top of each stud and click export. Wait for a bit. Yep, it's now ready. So I will go in my folder here, download folder. I will unzip the file and then move it to this folder here so it's easier for me to find later. Okay, so now I have to open Blender, so this is pretty much what you will see when you open it. I will open the template, so go in Open, then select the template file, open it. This is what you are going to get. So the first thing to do here is to actually delete the brick group that includes all those bricks here. So I will left click, then move the mouse over the scene. Shift G, then select the children, and then I have to reselect the main group. So basically, Shift left click. When it's selected, I can press the delete key and then delete all that. Now I have to open my model. So import Colada. I will find it somewhere here. Yep, there. Okay, so it's now open. It's gigantic compared to the scene. So the first thing that I have to do is to actually put all the parts in the model uh, empty object. So I will press shift and then left click here on model. Next object, parents, parent object and then object keep transform. Okay, so everything has been added in the empty object. So this is the one I will deal with from now. Um, I don't really like all these lines, so generally I just hide them. So I need to go in display and then untick this box, relationship lines. I do the same here in the camera view. So I click N, then go in display again, and then untick this box and press N again. So now I need to scale my model so that it does appear nicely here. So left click on model and then I've got a couple of options to scale the model. One is to use this three fields here, these three fields, but I prefer to press the S key and then move my mouse. So it gets smaller and smaller until it seems to be fine in front of the camera. So if I'm happy with it, I will rotate it. So for that few options, same thing, you can use the skills here. What I generally do is basically press the R key for rotate and then the Z key because you want to rotate around this axis. When I'm happy about it, I can also move it to center it a little bit. Yeah, we can do something like that, I guess. It's not too bad. Well, next thing to do is actually to uh, put some lights. So the way it works is to, we actually use um, an environment map image. So I will click on this button here. So I have this node there. So what I need to do is to open the file. So I click on open. 
and I will is use this file here, which is actually coming from the pack uh, that I gave the link for in the forum. So open the mesh. Yep, so we're all good. Uh, what you can do if you want to have like a little preview of what the rendering will look like, you can choose here rendered. Yeah, so as you can see, the colors are not, are not great yet. So the next thing to do, which is actually the last thing that you have to do when you use this template, is to click on the run script. Yeah, so it basically replaces uh, the basic materials by the materials I set up. Uh, yeah, really think about that. This is the last thing that you need to do. Otherwise, if you scale your model after, it will mess with the uh, round edges and you're gonna be also in trouble with uh, the subsurface scattering of the model. So yeah, here we are. I will go back on the solid view. Okay, so if you're happy about all that, if you're happy about the settings, you can just press the render button and it's basically all. Otherwise, you can have a look at the settings here if you want to change, if you want to change the size of the image. We've got different options here. Uh, if you think that the result is too noisy, you can change the number of samples. Yeah, there are a few options that you can play with, especially if you are used to Blender. Okay, so I'm happy about all that. I just press the render key button. And from here, you are going to wait for a while before you can see something cool, but it's definitely worth it. Um, I won't do it, it's a little bit too long. However, I will show you how to update the result to upload, sorry, the result in Makebricks. So if you want to save your image, you can click on image and then save as image. Okay, so let's go back to Makebricks. Here, I will go in the library and I will upload a model I previously actually rendered. So its name, I'm gonna find it, Bike Shop. Yeah, this is this one here. So I click on the model, I arrive on this page, then I go and on renderings here. So as you can see, there is no renderings yet. Um, however, I've got this uh, plus button here. You will only see this one if you are logged in on the website. So I am currently. Then I open this window here. As you can see, I've got already a, an image here that I want to upload. So I select it, I press plus first, then select my file, drop it here, and then it's basically uploading it. It might take a little while. However, it should come. Okay, so we are not going to wait for the time. Anyway, once it's uploaded, you can basically find it in the rendering section and just click on it. It's about all. Okay, I hope you like this tutorial and I'm looking forward to see all your awesome results uploaded on the website. Okay, see you, bye.